I thought I would start with some specifics of creative things that I did. This silly thing. Okay, so this and this go together. This was a wooden box that I had. It fit perfectly on um, the stand that goes over the wheel well. I took the lid off and flipped it upside down so that it has a lip. I screwed it to this and screwed this to the wheel well area uh, box. And uh, I am in the process of putting another third coat of paint on it. But this way I can put things in here and they'll stay and I don't have to bungee cord them. This I've got bungee cord. Uh, it holds all my pots and pans and of course my air fryer and some of my other things. I haven't decided if I'm going to put uh, a door on it or not. I'm, I'm not sure. I may just put um, fabric. But I already had this box. It cost me $6 at the thrift store. And it hadn't been painted or anything. So it was just raw wood. Just a, a, an oblong it's oblong. Yeah, oblong box, wooden box. I couldn't buy the wood for this, honestly, to even make it for six dollars. So I just took off the hinges, um, the hardware, and as you can see, it's on its side. Everything's fitting in. All my cooking ware. I'm real happy with it. It worked out really well. So cooking was really a challenge. There's Miss Marley. Yep, I blocked her off. She's not happy. Anyway, I picked this up again at the thrift store. It was about $8. This was a few years back. And I couldn't come up with how to cook. So I've been cooking on that. It's really not convenient. It's too low. I just didn't know what to do. So. I went into the storage. Yeah, that famous storage. It's got a million things in it, and I'm going to have to start going to Goodwill. So this is something I picked up. As you can see, it's a very pretty piece, but look what it does. Hold on just a minute. So I just wanted to show what this piece would do. So both sides come up, and it twists around. Is that not nifty? Perfect for cooking. Then, I take my board, my cutting board. Here you go. Now, I put my stove on and I cook. It's not close to anything. It's not endangering anything. Is that not fantastic? There's so Parley. She hates it when I, when I leave her out of the picture. So, there we go. Then I just, when I'm done, I just put it away. Is this not fantastic? Now that was $8. So let me show you something else. As you can see, I have a three, three shelf metal shelving unit. And that's $30. So there's two of them. They hold my solar and clothes and everything else like that. $30 a piece, and then a two-drawer file cabinet is $6.50 at the thrift store. So you don't have to spend a million dollars to set up van life. So uh, walking from the front to the back, we're looking at my bed, what I've done with my sides. I wanted to show you the hassocks. Um, as you can see, Miss Marley is right there. There she is. <laughs> so, if we look under my bed, If you can see it, these are hassocks. So I have two hassocks under the bed. I still have places to find stuff where it's going to go. But 
Um, it's still a little messy, but it's better than nothing. So those two hassocks, those two hassocks um, measure 30 inches by 15 inches wide and 15 inches tall. And so the two of them is 60 inches. Uh, I put a three inch mattress on top of it. So it's easy for me to sleep. And in fact, it's, it's better than what I had, to be honest with you. So the padding adds a lot to it. And then there's storage. It's a ton of storage. So if all you get is a hassock to sit on or whatever, it, the storage is tremendous in there. It is not too difficult to lift up the mattress to get to the storage. But I don't put anything in there that I need on a daily basis. So, what's the budget? The table that turns around so that I can use it as a stove is eight dollars. The file cabinets were six dollars and fifty cents. They um, so there's fourteen dollars. The box was six dollars, so there's twenty dollars. The two shelving units, the metal shelving units were sixty dollars, so there's eighty dollars, and the two hassocks were six. Dollars a piece, 120 is exactly $200. And with $200, you could do an awful lot. That's that's minimal amount of money to live in a van to to um, keep you very well, you know. So, I mean, you you're gonna have additional things, you know. I've bought lamps, things like that, but just basic, any of that, you could cut it in half. Maybe you only need one hassock or maybe one shelf two hassocks but the reality is you can be very versatile with building your van out you don't have to put a ton of wood in there and make it um, comfortable you can make it comfortable with other things that are lighter weight and you save on the mileage your gas mileage is very important in van life because it's one of your biggest expenses so I'm just showing you some of the things that you can do I thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Camel.